Holy crap, it is so cold out here. Oh my gosh. Okay, fur. So my mom has Chunky Man. I'm going to go get lunch because we have literally no food in the house. I have to make a brush pick order. I have a lot of stuff to do. But I have to say, I have not been productive today, as productive as I'd hoped. Um, I cannot, I've told you guys this before, I think, I know I've said it on Insta, I can't watch the news. Um, it sends me into a very dark downward spiral. Um, there have been a lot of times, especially since having Ezra, that if I do watch the no news, if I see something sad that happens, Amazon just pulled in, um, I, I really go into like a little like depress, truly like a, what I would just call a depressive episode, like I, I, for days. And this is such a dark world we live in. Hold on one second. I tell you, if I was single, man, I would have no problem meeting people. I meet a new delivery driver every day. Um, he was pretty too. I couldn't see if he had a ring on, but if you live in the Greenville area, sis, Go outside when your Amazon package arrives. Um, <laughs> so anyway, the world we live in is just very sad. And um, so I can't watch the news, especially. It makes me not want to ever have another baby. That has been a real conversation that Sam and I have had. But I know that the best thing you can do is to raise your children to not be like what you see in the world. So anyway, when I was pregnant at Christmas time, we unfortunately were sw like skipping through channels and I saw the uh, Christmas parade in Wisconsin where the guy just barreled through mass amounts of people and it's horrific footage I wouldn't recommend watching it unless you have a stomach for it and even then it's very hard um, So I saw it and I became glued to the story because I just felt so horrible for those families and He is on trial now and I have to say I've been equally as glued to it and not been as productive as I would like and it has boiled my blood beyond like I don't think I've ever been so irritated watching something like it I would describe his trial similar to Amber Heard and Johnny Depp except it's a criminal court because that is how bad it is it's that's how like it's like a joke like everything I watch I'm like is this is this for real his defense I think it's I think it's what you would consider his defense is that he's a sovereign citizen and I've heard of that before but I've never really heard much about them so it kind of sent me down a like a rabbit hole of reading about sovereign citizens which are quite quite interesting and he's like made the comment of well I have the right to face my accuser they're dead and I know that there were a lot of people that were injured but let's be honest here your accusers are dead so you can't face them and it just really makes me so upset for the families like I couldn't imagine going through something like that and then this guy is just making a complete mockery of the trial so I am in kind of a little dark headspace it's another reason I kind of wanted to get out today um, watching it it makes me cry just even thinking about it so I'm gonna try and get out and it is freezing cold uh, it's 45 degrees right now <laughs> um, and there's wind so I am going to hopefully hopefully get oh I'm gonna hopefully get some work done when I get back um, and then I was gonna work out outside either, like I was gonna go on a run outside not thinking that's gonna happen at 40 degrees but I needed to get a little bit of sunlight needed to get out of the house because I was if you've watched the Daryl Brooks trial you know exactly what I'm talking about it's awful it's so awful he's a disgusting human being <sighs> all right Got my wallet my keys a bib for you we're going. We're going. Okay. All right. All right. I got this. All right. Take like 12. Here's your passy. If you want it. See the, yep, you see it? Okay. You know what? I sure hope. Oh, God, my truck is going to hell. There was a dirty burp cloth in the back. I don't even know how that got there. All right, so we are now going to go get our groceries. I gotta tell. Did I bring my phone? 
Okay, I did. I gotta tell Walmart we are on our way. I don't know how my mother and father used to do it. They used to take four children to the store and they would shop for groceries every week or every two weeks or whatever. And I genuinely do not know how they did it because grocery pickup is a lifesaver. We actually did a grocery pickup. Like, I think we did one the day before I gave birth or maybe it was like a couple days after. And it was just awesome because you can designate someone else to go get the groceries. And that was like, I, that's what I did. When people are like, how can we help? We'd love to help any way we can. You can go get my groceries. And they did. People actually will help you if you take them up on it, but you have to take them up on it. So, let's go. My sweet baby. Mommy's gotta unload the groceries, then we're gonna eat some lunch. Who's that handsome boy? Who is that handsome boy? All right. So, Mr. Mouse, I'm gonna put you down. Doug, you gonna watch the baby for me. You gotta watch him while I gotta go unload the car, okay? Babysit Ezra, you're in charge. You gotta babysit. You're in charge of him, you gotta watch him. You're all up in my business. It's, it's too much. Leave the, hey, all right, you can come outside. You're not even watching the baby. Okay. These are good. What do we want, Ezra? Well, I guess what does mommy want? Let's see. Nutter Butter Chips Ahoy Oreos. Hmm. I think I want, ooh, I think I want Oreos. Oh God, it's six Oreos? Okay, I'll eat these throughout the day. I'm not gonna eat six Oreos in one sitting. Oh my gosh. I don't think I knew it was six Oreos. Okay. I'll eat two now, two at lunch, two at dinner. Sorry, Ezra's camera just fell and I looked over and I did not see him and I didn't know what I was looking at and it was a little stressful. Um, so I think today we're gonna go see the house. Um, it is supposed to be fully under roof by the end of the week, but I'm betting it is under roof by the end of the day um, because I drove by it and it is. Looks like it's gonna be under roof by the end of the day. Um, they had a couple uh, mistakes that this is why like if you're building a home especially in the framing process no matter how inconvenient it may be no matter how far away you may be building um if you're building out of state get someone you trust like or even like make sure you trust your um gc we were there the other day and they had not started on the roof our contractor is my father so of course i trust him um they had not started on the roof above our den and he went after they all left like he had gone and done some other stuff and then come back. And in that time frame from when we were there looking at everything, it all looked good to when he came back. Um, he found out they vaulted the ceiling incorrectly in the living room. So we had to fix that. I actually was there the other day and we all had like walked around the house. It looked really good. And then I ended up going to the living room, no, the primary bedroom. And I like looked to the left, just happened to look to the left. And I was like, they messed up the back porch. Um, we extended the back porch and they built it to the plans, not to the block that was there. Sorry, camera battery died. So anyway, you um, need to just like go as much as you possibly can and make sure that you are checking it out because that's really important. Um, and I think apart from that, we have a couple more flooring selections to make. I'm so, flooring has been even worse than cabinets because we want really wide boards and wide plank wood is really hard to, um, Install or it's a lot more difficult, not hard, but it's just different to install in the winter time, which is when they're going to be installing our flooring. They have to glue it down and nail it down if it's over a certain size. Um, and everyone's trying to get us like everyone the flooring people, even my dad, they're trying to get us to go to this really thin flooring. And I'm like, I want wide planks, I don't know what you're what you all are equally all about these thin planks. And I realized it's because it's easy to install. I'm like, sorry, install guy, that's not. I'm not building a forever home based on what's easy to install. We'll pay for the glue and the nails. <laughs> like, it'll be okay. Oh. 
he trying to put himself back to sleep? Let me go. Let me guess. He's working hard at putting himself back to sleep and he's got, he could do, he could get up now, he could go another 30 minutes. I think I'm gonna go get him. This was stirring a little much. All right, we were gonna go see the house, but probably not gonna happen. Somebody smeared orange paste on his own face. <laughs> Look at all that hair. Oh, Blighton making that up. Here. The, the trick is you don't start screaming at me while you're still swallowing. Like, it's a simple process. That hair, kid. Oh. You got so much. <laughs> Those are happy screams, don't worry. So, um, he had a breast milk pop, and then I think I talked about this on Instagram, so we do purees and baby led weaning because um, just we want to. And most of the time he gets to practice feed himself purees, but today we are we are, um, what would be today? Surviving, not thriving? Survival. So I was gonna take um, the camera down and look at the house. My mom said it is fully under roof, by the way. She said it was this morning and they were wrapping it. Um, but we have a chunky man who is not in the best mood and <laughs> my mom is not home to hold him, which I don't feel safe taking him. So, yeah, that's all. We're gonna go. We're we're gonna go.